what's up everybody? So today we're gonna see uh, the chords for beginners in Gypsy Jazz. Let's go! So we are gonna see the typical chords used uh, in Gypsy Jazz. We'll see the major, the minor, the dominant, the diminished and the semi-diminished. So with that you've got everything, <laughs> almost everything. Let's go! So here is a document you can download on the guitar session. I will put the link in the description and we will see uh, what's inside a little bit. So how to read the diagram? <laughs> this is the first question. So on the right you will have the number of the finger. You see here, when it is a little uh, X like that, it is mute. You have to mute the string. Then you have the red here uh, circle. It's the root, the root of the chord. So here it's G on the third fret. You see here you have a little number to say the number of the fret. Here it's the um, index finger, it will be on the second fret, you see? So inside the circle it's the sixth, then the third, then the five. And so we have this chord, middle finger here, you see? Then first finger here, it's the sixth. Then the pinky here on the fourth fret, it's the third. And the fifth here, and we have this beautiful G6. <laughs> so that's it. Um, everything is explained so you can download it and uh, you will get it. Of course, uh, if you don't know, yes, how to transpose the chords. So it's quite easy. Um, so here is the uh, fretboard with the notes. If you don't know, it's good to work that. And let's see the major chords with the root on the low E string. So uh, we're gonna see this one first because it's the typical uh, gypsy jazz one. So <laughs> G6-9. Okay, it's a little bit uh, tricky to do because you have to, uh, to push two strings with one finger. So with the ring finger you push those two, you see? You can put the uh, first finger here or the thumb. Uh, I prefer the thumb, but I know uh, some people have um, uh, small hands, so you can do it like that. And you see, ring finger got those two notes, then the second finger, the third, and the pinky, those two high strings. And it sounds, of course, like this. And you, for sure you heard already this uh, effect uh, Django does all the time. And it's really typical with the 6 and the 9 in the high strings, you know? <laughs> okay, so this is the G6-9, you should know this one. And if it's a little bit difficult, no problem, you can do the G6 just here. So it's a little bit easier. Um, the root is with the second finger, you see? So here, then the first finger, we mute the A string. And then the pinky on the third here. And the third finger with the fifth. So, uh, for me, it's quite important to know the value of the note. This is why I put it uh, really here. Because when you will improvise, if you know the value of the note of uh, the chords you, you worked, it will be much easier to find it on the fretboard, you know? So here, I know the third is here. And so it's really um, convenient and important to, uh, to have this in mind. So here is the G6. <laughs> okay, nice. Now the G6-9, and this one also is typical, but you don't have the 6 and the 9 in the high strings, you have it here with the first finger, you see you have this uh, barre, this little bar chord, with the third, six, and nine. And the root is done with the second finger. Okay, so I prefer uh, this one, but this one also is convenient sometimes. 
you don't have to uh, to move so much the finger. Okay, so this was the major chords with the... Oh no, I forgot the G major 7. Uh, yes, it's usually more used in traditional jazz. This is why I forgot it. So you have to do with the first finger here on the third fret. And then you see this position. Okay, um, so this one, like you see, we we use more the six and the nine in gypsy jazz. This sounds more uh, uh, delicate, I would like to say. It's more uh, jazz, uh, traditional jazz. And uh, you don't push so hard, you know, in traditional jazz. You, you, you won't do this kind of rhythm. It's more, you know, you put, you do one chord and then another one. So uh, this one is less used. It is used, of course, but a little bit less. Uh, so okay, it's more like bossa nova feel. But I mean, no, this one also can bossa nova. <laughs> okay. Anyway, <laughs> let's continue. So major chords with the root on the A string. So let's see again the G69. Now we will go with the root. You see, this is the 10th fret. So second finger on the 10th fret, then the first finger with those two notes, and then the two last fingers on the high strings. You can also, if you want, um, with the second finger, take the two low strings. But I prefer to stay on the root. So it's uh, more obvious uh, the tonality we are on. So G6-9. Okay, of course, um, if you have to transpose, it's quite easy. Here I will do the C6-9, you see? The root is here, so it's A, B flat, B, C. But so uh, for this uh, little uh, PDF, I did everything in G, but of course you can transpose. So next one, D major 7. Okay, so how do we do it? First finger on the 10th fret, then it's the 5th with the 3rd finger, then the major 7, and then the 3rd again on the 10th fret again, 12th uh, fret, sorry. Okay, and this one also is a little bit more used uh, in jazz, but uh, I mean, gypsy jazz is also jazz. So, <laughs> okay, which one we have? Oh, yes, G6 with the six in the high strings. So, you see, you can do it with uh, any finger, you can do it uh, with two fingers if it's a little bit complicated. Each one has two strings. Okay, so this was some chords on the A strings with the root on the A strings. Now let's see major chords with the root on the D string. Um, this is less used uh, when you do the, the, re the rhythm la pompe, but um, you can use it sometimes when you uh, do chords soloing or it's useful also to know that when you do solos because uh, you will see the value of the note more easily you see so here we have this position six nine with the root here with the second finger the third and the six and the nine in fact it's the same as this one but we just do it like that Okay, so on the D string, the G major 7. You see with the pinky, I take the three strings, high strings here. I am on the fifth fret with the first finger. Okay. Okay, so... <laughs> 
for the root on the D string. Uh, as I already said, it's less used uh, for the rhythm la pompe, but um, I guess you are not just doing la pompe. So let's see minor chords now. Uh, with the root on the low E string. Oh yes, again, this G major, uh, sorry, G minor 6-9. I like it. So again, the root is here on the third fret and and, 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 uh, how did I wrote that? Yes, we can do it like that, yes. With the thumb, of course. So you have um, uh, some possibilities to do it. I like to do it with the thumb here, you see? Third chord, then the two and the three on the fifth fret here, doing the fifth and the root again. Then the third with the first finger and the uh, pinky doing the high strings. So it can be a little bit difficult for, <laughs> for your hand, but hopefully you will, uh, you will do it. Okay, uh, of course you can do it, there's uh, other possibilities, you can do it with a barre like that, with a bar with the first finger, but it hurts a little bit, I don't like to do that, I already said that, so I prefer like that. You will find some convenient way uh, for you. And then, of course, the G, mi the G <laughs> minor 6, this one the most used. So. Um, second finger here on the third fret, then on the second fret, first finger doing the sixth, and the two other here on the G and the B string for the minor third and the fifth. This one I'm sure you know it already. I'm just messing around. Um, so now the G minor 7, also we use it all the time. So I like to do it with the thumb again, huh? but you can do it like you, like you prefer, uh, like that, with the first finger here and the barre, or with the three finger also. This is very used uh, all the time, you know. Uh, I mean, all those chords you will find, of course, all the time. Uh, this one, I do it, you know, with the thumb like that. And often we go like that to the second degree. So, for instance, uh, G major 7, uh, sorry, G major 6 9. You know. So. Now the minor chords with the root on the A string. Um, so what's that? Oh, what did I do? I even don't remember. <laughs> so here we have, yeah, this, this position. It's a little bit unusual, <laughs> I would say. So root on the 10th string, the minor third here, the 6th, and the minor third again. In fact, if you know this position, or this position, yeah, the G minor 7, we have it on the right. You just do like that, so the 7 here goes down on the 6th. Okay, this is good to know also, even if we don't use so much this one, uh, because we use this one for the minor, minor 6. Um, yeah, let's see before the G minor 9, I like it also this one. See first root here with the second finger on the tenth fret, then first finger doing the minor third and the seven and nine here. Once again, it's important that you know the value of the note. <laughs> it's uh, really good to know that when you do the rhythm, because when you will improvise, it will be easier to know which note you have to be on. 
And of course, like I said, the minor six, we usually play it like that in gypsy jazz. So D minor six, bass, E. So I start with the first finger on the seventh fret, you see, and it's equivalent to E minor seven with the fifth flat. Of course, on minor swing, you, you know, we have uh, A minor six and the D minor six. We do it here, like you saw maybe on my uh, lesson on my nursing. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now uh, with the root on the D string, let's see this one. It's a G minor seven, so fifth fret. You see here, fifth, it's the root with the first finger. And you see, and knowing the value of the note is really, uh, really, really useful because uh, I do this. I know here it's the seven and I can just remove it. And I have the G minor six in this position. And so for instance, this is the root here, so G again. You see this, um, we do that a lot. To go from the root to the six. So here, for instance, oh, wonderful. So <laughs> this is useful for that. Okay. So let's see now the dominant chords. Uh, so in Gypsy Jazz, we like to play more uh, in the low area <laughs> with the low sound, you know? So I like this position of the G7, for instance, look at that. So second finger here, playing the root, then the third is here with the first finger, then the seven, and we repeat the third. And the other one, the high strings are muted. You see, it doesn't sound. <laughs> Okay, so this is the one I like. Uh, of course, you have this one. You have the fifth here. We add this one like that with the first finger here or the thumb. In fact, I like to do all the time with the thumb uh, on the low uh, E string. It's more easy for my hand. <laughs> so, okay, this one is nice. What do we have next? Um, G9, G7, 13, okay, G9 here, we can do it like that on the low E string, wait, you have to see it good, yeah, the G7, 13, this is nice also, it's more uh, jazzy. Okay, so uh, you see how everything works. Um, I will stop here. It's a long video already. So if you want, you can download this um, little uh, ebook for free by uh, subscribing on uh, my website. Uh, I will put the link in the description. So wait, I will put my head again. So I hope uh, you enjoyed and you uh, start knowing better the Gypsy Jazz chords. See you later. Ciao, ciao.